one week from this very second marks the start of the biggest Swedish Warhammer tournament. And more importantly, the most prestigious and high-level army painting competition in Sweden. And I want to try to win that, so can I finish my half-painted orc army? And can Lucas paint a brand new army from scratch in 24 hours? To win our first best in show in five years. Let's try. So Lucas, you might be wondering why I put you here. Is it to get paid finally? No, but I did buy us two tickets for Fnatic next weekend. Then that means we need armies. I have half an army, you don't have an army, but are you down for a 24 hour marathon starting tomorrow? That would be fucking awesome. So yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> so Lucas, the 24 hours starts now. And that's how it all began. Lucas started building up some Beast Claw Raiders and I prepped my orcs. I need to start my bases, the first thing. Prime bases, paint bases, do snow effect on bases, and then resin pour. And hopefully it's dry tomorrow. And my mission is a little bit different from Lucas because my army is already about 50% done, which means that I can focus more on details and paint an even more high-end paint job. My mission is going to be to actually win Best in Show, not just to be nominated, but to take home the entire thing. No pressure, 24 hours, let's do this. I'm gonna smack Lucas ass. Let's try to finish these bad boys, make them look amazing, and then I can move to the next one. One of the more sad things about having three kids, a full-time job and a house to keep up with, is that I barely have time on my spare time to paint miniatures. And most of the videos we produce, I don't get to paint up my own personal armies. So having these 24-hour marathons once or twice per year gives me an opportunity to paint up the stuff I haven't really had time to finish. So even if a 24-hour marathon might seem like something stupid to do, and that there's no real reason for it, for me, well, there is. Okay, uh, the bases are primed, now we come to the fun part. Oh. I'm gonna eat candy instead of working today. Two hours in and I already feel like I am not gonna be able to finish this in time because these are so detailed. I just remembered why I have not been able to finish these because my lord, it god damn. I've been working on the bases for two hours and uh... Emil is complaining about the details on his mini. I honestly don't know if I have details on them because I still haven't looked at them. Hopefully I managed to do the bases now really quickly and then uh, on to painting some big fat ogres. Uh, Emil, do you have any idea where the resin is? It's in the garage. Garage time. Do not swallow. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Lucas. I have prepared a big plate of bases here and now it's time to cook up some resin and create love. When doing these freaking challenges, I feel like I'm always making it so much harder for myself. Like now I'm doing resin pours for a freaking tournament, which means if these resting pores fail, I just can't have them fail. I need this to work. So I think we're just gonna leave these for 24 hours, come back in the morning and check on how it's looking. And now I have to paint the monsters and mock Emil for not trying hard enough. Let's go!
Two hours per pig would be like, if I could manage that, that would be fast, but that would leave me at 30 hours. And then you have to remember, you have still a dragon to paint, which is pretty much unpainted. Yeah. Okay, six hours in. Um, I am now facing the consequences of uh, not knowing what I am gonna paint today. Because I painted for six hours. I have one finished figure. I have two more figures that I can be done with in the coming probably hour. Instead of just painting them one and one, I think I'm going to do an assembly line painting uh, paint job thing. Because uh, I'm gonna have to hurry up because otherwise I'm, I'm gonna be screwed. And that's without mentioning the fucking dragon. I mean, there's uh, it's like the first time we do one of these where there's some real stakes. Like, it's not just gonna be Lucas winning a box of minis from me. It's gonna be, I'm gonna go to a tournament with this army and if it's not finished, it's, I'm gonna have to finish it. Let's do this. I'm feeling quite confident right now. I've managed to paint all of the skin on the minis. I might go in and glaze in some reds and some blues and some greens and some purples to get some more personality. But for now, I'm thinking of moving on to the beasts. However, I should go and check out uh, the resin pour. Okay, let's see how my little babies are doing. I actually think you son of a bitch. They're holding the resin. So far so good, hopefully they can stay like this for another 20 hours or something, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna have a burger. So, dudes, I'm done with the orc skin. How's it going for you? I'm almost done base coating. Woo! But because I have so much to do, we've printed notes in this box. And Lucas is gonna draw one for us. And we'll see what I get to paint next. And while we do, let me talk about this week's sponsor. Into the AM. Emma is gonna paint the bones. That's gonna be exciting. Let's do that. <laughs> if you watch our channel a bit, you know that Lucas and I, we wear these amazing Into the AM shirts in pretty much every video. Because Into the AM makes some of the coolest graphic t-shirts on the internet. <sighs> and these works have quite a lot of bone and skulls to paint, so I better get started. And the best thing to me is not only that they look amazing, but they do feel amazing because these shirts are amazing for people who are a bit taller like me and have problems with t-shirts feeling a little bit on the shorter end. And if you too want to look amazing like we do, you can pick up these amazing graphic t-shirts. And the best thing, they're only three for $61.95. And on top of that, if you follow our link in the video description, you get a 10% discount on your entire purchase, which means even cheaper, really cool t-shirts. So yeah, if uh, you want to support our channel and support the companies that help us make these videos possible, check out the link down below. <laughs> nine o'clock in the evening which means we're halfway there and am i getting tired yes i am don't tell lucas have i finished half of the stuff i should finish no i have not here goes nothing fuckers <laughs> Lucas is so fucked, his army does not look good anywhere. 
He doesn't have a chance. I have a new tattoo. He doesn't even have a new tattoo. <laughs> I'm not getting paid. He's in fact not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I'm fucked, but uh, no, I'm not because my plan is working. I'm doing all the base coats correctly. I've even uh, pushed uh, some things in there. My army is looking so good. My English is very bad right now. So it's uh, past midnight. I think it's like two. I am always way behind time-wise, but this time it's gonna look really amazing. So I'm really happy. Peace out. I'm gonna go paint some more. Late night talks with Lucas. Emil is doing the NMM as he said, and I'm doing TMM, which means I'm pretty much on schedule. I'm gonna make this in time. Emil's not. So I'm the winner. And I have bases that look amazing. My horns are looking amazing. The metal is looking amazing. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, I gotta start uh, finishing off the base now. The, it's one of my favorite bases so far, I feel like, but I've got some woods to paint. I gotta shade some more stuff in there and add some more other colors. Mm -hmm. By the way, you guys aren't subscribed to us. It says that 60% of you aren't, so do that so we can beat Games Workshop in subscribers. And like the video while you're at it. Because if we get 20,000 likes, Lucas is gonna get cookies again. He got one cookie last time, now he get maybe two. So it's five in the morning. I am getting really tired, especially with my hand and shoulder, because I've been sitting like this for freaking 19 hours. <clears throat> I'm still not done, but hopefully finish up this dragon. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna give it a try. It's so close, I can feel the wind just uh, grasp away. But now I'm actually getting a bit tired. Half a horn and then I'm like done, which feels nice. It's time left and I'm actually sort of done, which is more than I can say for Emil. It's been 24 hours and I feel like we're both feeling really well for yeah. this being 24 hours. I'm happy with what I did, even though I was stressed as all get out throughout the entire night. <laughs> but that's a 24 hour challenge for you. Yes. What is going to be really exciting now is that in a few days for us, but in a few minutes for you guys, we're going to see how the tournament ended up. But first, it's a grand reveal!
So now let's head on to the event. Comment who you're thinking is gonna win. I think uh, it's gonna be tight. I feel like uh, I was confident before this evening started, but now I'm, I'm not confident at all. <laughs> so let's see. I just realized one thing. My list isn't even tournament legal. I need to paint three more Brute Ragers. Let's do that. Maybe something more. I have to hurry up because the tournament starts now. This might be the best or the worst idea I've ever had. And with that, we were ready for the tournament. You roll the double ones. After a week of really hard work, I was super tired Saturday morning, but excited to finally enter an event with hundreds of like-minded nerds. Everything was going great, and at the beginning of day two, I got handed a note saying that I was nominated to the finals of Best in Show. And what about Lucas? Well, he got nominated as well. First mission accomplished. Everyone in the tournament had a chance to vote on their favorite army. A really clean Seraphon army, copper Caradron overlords with really really cool looking water bases, a fully converted ghost Stormcast army with very effective OSL lighting, and of course Lucas and I. On top of that, on the 40k side, there were so many good looking armies, just look at these bad boys, and this fully converted 40k Skaven army. So all in all I ended up with 3 wins and 2 losses, and I was ready for the prize ceremony. And the winner wasn't me or Lucas, it was actually the Stormcast army that was massively converted. Such an amazing army. So the tournament is over. As you saw, I didn't win the tournament. Yeah. As you show, you didn't win either, but no. I came in second. And I came in third. And Brennan's army was freaking lit, so uh, he deserves it. Yeah. But it just goes to show, it's all about having the coolest army that yeah. most people appreciate. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. We did our best. Your army looked amazing for 24 hours. Yeah. I'm super happy with mine, so hope you like it too. That's it. Have a good day.